power to the employees. Good evening, I'm Marsha Bonhart. I'm Michelle Kingsfield. Tonight, a Troy company has 250 new owners and a new lease on life. We send Megan her work to find out why it's an investment not only in the people who work there, but the entire community. Megan? Today, I met with the employees and CEO of Spinnaker Coatings. They all agree it's a win, not just for the company, but also for Troy. The reason being, there's no more uncertainty about the future. You know, we can take control of our destiny now. You know, we all do what we do. We do our job well, but you know what? Uh, I think it gives you a little bit more pride to know you own the place or part owner of the place. Uh, the more you contribute, the more you're going to get out of it. And I think the idea is that we always have them flow, and it's just going to flow that much better. Now, Dan Potts, who you just heard from, has been with Spinnaker Coating for the last 27 years and says he's seen it through its ups and downs. In 2001, the company, which manufactures adhesive coated papers, filed for bankruptcy. It then restructured and has been profitable for the last several years, but took a hit during the economic downturn in 2008. Company officials asked shareholders, the bank, and employees for help, and the employees stepped up by taking a pay cut, essentially saving the company. That's why the CEO says it seemed only right to make the employees the new owners. And you needed to find a buyer who would value what we did here, which is to build this incredible service model. And selling to the to the employees, in effect, the trustee representing the employees, we thought that value would be recognized. Now, the official term for what happened at Spinnaker is an ESOP, which stands for Employee Stock Ownership Trust. It's essentially a retirement plan, but the amount of retirement payments will be based on company profit, giving employees even more reason to want Spinnaker to succeed. Reporting live, Megan O'Rourke, 2 News.